welcome to Crafting Unedited. My name is Sierra and today I'm going to show you how to use Caesar Easy Subly. This stuff is pretty awesome. It allows you to sublimate onto or get to that sublimation look um, and detail and vibrancy onto cotton and darker fabrics um, where as you normally would not be able to use the sublimation process. Now I will say that the Caesar Easy Subly does have a little bit of a texture and feel to it where regular sublimation does not. Um, so you know just keep that in mind when ordering. I particularly love it because it does allow you to put those images onto um, darker colors and cotton fabrics. So it gives you that option. Um, it is very stretchy. It is pretty simple to use and today I'm going to show you how to do that. So first you're going to want to open up Cricut Design Space or Silhouette Studio, whatever design program you may be using. And then from there you're going to take the image that you want. <clears throat> to create and today I'm going to do somewhere on here I hate that I started doing this like it does not want to show me what I want it to show there we go <laughs> just takes a minute all right so today we're going to do where are you? This guy. It's Christmas, but it's also a little rock star, so I kind of like it. Next, you're going to, if you're fine with the normal um, 9.25 by 6.75 restrictions, which for this one I am, um, you're going to use those sizes. So if you're only using the 9.25 by 6.75 restriction in design space you don't have to do anything else with the picture from this point but if you are and you want to go bigger what you can do is take a shape I usually do a square come on and then I will take half my image onto that square roughly half and slice it it's going to take a minute maybe 10 <laughs> did it work up oh, there it goes so then we're going to remove this and then we're going to remove this and now we have an image that we can make bigger let's say you wanted to do an extra large shirt so you'll go to 10 inches but you can see here where it's cut so you want to kind of just shimmy it over just this smidge and there you go you can't see the seam anymore but when you go to print um, I'll show you I made it too big 9.25 still yeah that'll allow me because it was too tall so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna select both Create an offset. <clears throat> and I do point 0.1. You can go smaller. Um, you can go point 0.05. Just enough to get where it can cut outside of this. But because my image is a cut image, I don't really need to do this. Um, if I was using the Caesar Glow, I would do it. So, I mean, either way, not a huge deal. So there's two options. You can use the offset, which creates a little bit of an outline through the whole thing. Or what we can do is select, copy, paste, and then you're going to take your second image and just go to cut and now you see that you have your image as a cut image the offset let me show you the difference here oops didn't want to do that the good thing about the offset is when you do the whole image and you have as one offset <clears throat> you see how this is sliced 
when you do the offset, you don't have the sliced. You just have, I had to get it away so that I could select it. There we go. You have one image that you don't have to piece together, which is why I prefer to have this rather the offset rather than the cut of the two. So either way, regardless of what you choose, this is how you would do it. I would choose the offset if you're going for a bigger image solely because you don't have that seam to try to piece together as well as having to piece together your picture. So then what we're going to do next is um, go over to make it and then we're going to cut it, weed it, and then go from there. So I want to show you guys the cut instructions. Um, so you have two options with the Caesar Easy Subly. You can use it and um, print directly onto it using your sublimation printer. Will not work in the inkjet. Please don't try it. It will just make a humongous mess. You can use it in your, sub, your sublimation printer and print directly onto it. And if that's the choice that you're going with, you do not need this portion. I prefer to use this method and then sublimate onto the Easy Subly um, primarily because the images turn out so much more vibrant that way. Um, and for me, it's just easier to line it up on this than it is to just, yeah, with tinier details like mine has, it's easier to do it this way. If you don't have tinier details and it's just a solid like round or circular um, image, then just printing directly onto it and having your printer cut the easy subly um, with the sublimation print on it is the way to go. So if you're doing it this way, basically you cut the easy subly and then you print these guys and you sublimate right on top of these. If you are printing directly onto the Easy Subly, you do not use this mat. You don't use the material, the cut, the extra step here. Um, then you just go to print then cut here and you print then cut both of these pieces, which you're gonna have to piece together as one later on. Um, and then you'll peel those off. It's just more of a headache because I've got all these little pieces. <laughs> You just peel those off um, like you would, you normally would weed a project, and then you put it onto your garment. Um, yeah. Sorry, I was trying to do that from memory because I tried it once and hated that process. So this is my method. This is my favorite. It's just the way to go. So you'll cut this, and then you'll print the other two. Usually I'll print these two first. And then while those two are printing, I will use my Cricut to cut. The material that you want to select is, I don't believe it has Easy Subly. It does not. So, I preferred the flocked iron-on and more pressure for this. Um, for this guy, you want to make sure you mirror. You don't need to mirror for these two. <clears throat> well, I have my sublimation printer set up to just automatically mirror, um, but if you don't have it set up that way, you do need to mirror it. So um, if you don't have it set up to automatically mirror, then mirror it. If you do, then don't. Um, but you do need to mirror your um, iron on right here. All right, and then we go to make it. <clears throat> Why isn't it? Oh, because it's ready to make. I'm silly. So for this, for the easy subly, you want to make sure that you're cutting with the shiny side of the material face down and the um, textured side face up. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Shiny side down, texture side up. I did confuse that the first time. Um, and then when you put it in your printer, you want to make sure that you have the texture side facing down, shiny side up. 
if you're printing directly onto it. That is another reason why I don't like that process. <laughs> One, it makes a big mess in your printer. Two, it's just so many more steps. I like this process better. Just a preference. Alrighty, so moving on, I'm going to go ahead and cut this and then I'll head over to the camera and we'll kind of go from there. Alrighty, see you in a second. Alrighty, so I have my garment. It is a poly cotton blend, um, but it's mostly cotton. I believe it's like 65. It is 50-50. Sorry, so it's equal parts. Don't mind my hair, whatever. Um, that's not what you're here to see. You're here to see that. So I have my transfer here on my mat because I just finished it. Oh shit. There's the cell. Peel it off before recording. Okay. So I've already print, cut, and weeded and applied the mask to my transfer, my heat press is preheated to 311 degrees and it says 10 to 15 seconds, so that's what we're gonna do. Just as soon as I get it off of this backing. I always have issues with backing. Struggle bus city over here, man. There we go. <laughs> I'm murdering this transfer. All I'm doing, guys, is trying to get the backing off of this transfer, and it is just like a mess. Got it off, mostly. Mostly without effing up my stuff too. So when you peel it off, be careful because apparently it's kind of difficult. I broke a little piece off, so I like put it back on so that you won't be able to tell when I press it and it did stretch out a little bit in some places so I'm just trying to like adjust it to get it back to where it's supposed to be heat press is set at 311 degrees for 10 to 15 seconds and that is all you need for this all right looks good we're going with it whatever 10 to 15 seconds, going to place it on the shirt where I want it. Pick up the shirt. Make sure it's good, perfect. I actually really love this image on this shirt. And I don't mind that my print and cut was kind of off. <laughs> Because it gives it a little bit of an outline. I know I said I didn't want one, but I changed my mind on the color of the shirt, and here we are. All right, so medium pressure, 10 to 15 seconds. We'll give it 15 seconds, and then it should just peel off more peel. This is the time where I tell you to subscribe to my channel, love my comments, or love my videos and comment on them. You should do that. Lots of tutorials to come. Lots of already seen. And we're done. All right, press. Says more and peel. This part always makes me nervous. Oh, okay. 
Mm. Okay. I'm in love. You can tell that I did not wait long enough for it to dry. <laughs> That's okay though. But look at look at look at look at look at. Look at. Mm. I love this with every bit of my soul. <laughs> All right. There you have it, folks. Don't wash it for 24 hours. Dry it inside out. Good to go. Hi, my friends. That's how you use Easy Subly. Caesar Easy Subly. <laughs> Remember, don't wash it for 24 hours. If you have questions, drop me a comment. Till next time. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs>